Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and this is for the month of December. So at any time in December, um, I am going to do weeklies for December, believe it or not, I am. <laughs> so anyway, but this is for any time in December for the sign of Cancer. This reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This reading can go vice versa. The roles can be reversed. Whether So this could be for the some, whoever you're asking about. You know, you use your intuition to figure out how it resonates. So we are going to start right here. What do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December. What? Oh, there it is. The Emperor. The Emperor. So that's being in charge, being in control, using your head. You know, this is hard facts. Uh, I don't know if this is you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is a very experienced, business-oriented person that takes control. This is, is, this is somebody who is a master, okay? A provider, shows no weakness. So I'm not sure if that's you or somebody that you're dealing with. You may be shaking hands with somebody this month. Um, it looks like you are. It looks like you're going to be shaking hands, making a deal of some sort. You may be making a deal with somebody, maybe a business deal. Um, it looks as though you're you're the boss of some sort. I feel like this is your, it could be your energy, but it may not be. Somebody may be reaching out to you as well. Somebody may be extending you a hand. They may be extending you an offer. Whoever whoever this person is, could be an Aries. It doesn't have to be, but this is could be an Aries, could be a Capricorn, could be a Taurus. Whoever it is, it's a very strong, strong energy. Um, signing. I feel like you're going to be signing something. Um, shaking hands with somebody. Making a deal. Or somebody that you're dealing with is making a deal. Striking up a deal of some sort. Um... Being in control, taking control, taking action. <laughs> Definitely shaking hands with somebody, striking up some sort of deal. Of I don't know what kind of deal it is. Um... And it may be with an Aries. It may or may not be with an Aries. Uh, you may have Aries in your chart. Or this other person has Aries in their chart. Or it's just somebody that is very, very, very strong. Very, very. Well, this is definitely a strong individual. I think it's some sort of business deal. It doesn't have to be. We have a ruler here. That's a ruler. The, in the emperor is a ruler. You know, a ruler in, you know, a sense of a person. So, it's interesting. Patience and planning. So, this is seven of pentacles. Getting something that you... Seeds that you planted a long time ago are coming to fruition. There may be something to, that has to do with seven years ago. Something you did seven years ago, because pentacles to me are, are years, so uh, something is coming to fruition that you uh, started perhaps seven years ago. You may be striking up a deal with somebody from seven years ago. Or it doesn't have to be seven years ago, but I'm just saying. It could be 12 years ago. I don't know where the hell 12 years came from. Anyhow, um, patience and planning. Something is about to pay off. You're about to receive something. Now, there may be something to do with investment here as well. You've invested in something, and now it's coming to fruition. There could even be a relocation. I, I often see the Seven of Pentacles in regards to relocation. Somebody may be relocating, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, Somebody is definitely, I feel like they're signing a contract or they're 
striking up a deal of some sort. Um, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Somebody's, because that's a seven of pentacles, somebody's hard work has paid off. They're getting some sort of deal. Somebody may be dealing with a lawyer as well. Look at that. We got several. Um, we got some good cards here. We do. First card. Lily. Spiritual love. Get rid of that flower. Marriage. Something to do with marriage. Could be a proposal. October. Something to do with the month. Something may have started in the month of October. Okay. Um, or something. Maybe you're going to get married next October. Or, or something to do with October. However it resonates with you. Wealth. Wealth. So this is really, really good. Okay. Look at this. We got... Usually we get all red cards, okay? So this is this is very, very prominent energy. The universe is in control. I feel like the universe is bringing you a spiritual love. Um, and I'm not sure. I mean, we have marriage and wealth here, okay? Uh, the month of October is very prominent. You are about to... I feel like you're going to... You're about to be given something that you have been waiting for you or you're going to give it. it could go either way somebody's about to get something that they have been waiting for they have invested in it and it's like it's time it's time for this to come to fruition it's time and i feel like it does have to do with love because of that red envelope whenever i see a red envelope i think of valentine's day so i'm not sure if there is something to do with a card somebody may be getting a card or something like there is spiritual love here so whatever this is it's really really beautiful somebody could be getting proposed to they could be getting an abundant offer I mean marriage and wealth I mean it doesn't get much better than that so somebody may be coming together with somebody that uh, you know they may end up marrying someday I'm just saying um, whatever we got going on here there is a spiritual love connection um, somebody could also be getting flowers. There is definitely romance in that air. There is rings. Somebody could definitely be getting proposed to or they could just be meeting somebody. Um, and, it's, and it's funny because I saw the hands taking somebody by the hand. Um, somebody may be reaching out. They may. I feel like there definitely could be a proposal for somebody. Not everybody, obviously. Somebody could be planning a wedding or planning a move because I feel like the Seven of Pentacles is relocation. Um, somebody's wealth is going to be increasing. Really, really, really good. Knight of Swords reversed. Two of Cups. So Knight of Swords, all of a sudden, something is happening all of a sudden. Things are happening extremely fast, perhaps. I feel like there's been some sort of delay, but the delay is over. Um, I think that you need to be careful. You might need to slow down. Maybe you even will need to slow down. Or there's just some sort of tower moment. Because I often see the Knight of Swords like a tower moment, especially in reverse. When I get reversals, I think of them as extremes. So somebody may be extremely uh, in a hurry. I feel like somebody is in an extreme hurry to connect. Um, they are. They're in a hurry to connect. I feel like they've been planning something because of that patience and planning. They've been planning and they're, 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 they're going to be coming in very, 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 very fast. It's very unexpected with that Knight of Swords reversed. Um, unexpected partnership, unexpected union. Um, and this could be work partnership as well. Does I, I mean, marriage can be a marriage to a job. I mean, some people go that route, whatever. So, you know, and the emperor is a business type of transaction, okay? It could be a could be a boss. It could be, you know, a leadership posi position. Somebody could be taking a leadership position or they could just be taking the lead. You know, they could be taking charge, you know, and going after a spiritual love connection. And that, I mean, taking charge, going after a spiritual love connection. So, you know, somebody could be going after a spiritual love connection. This is a soulmate connection by the looks of things. We have two people that, um, you know, have some sort of uh, deep connection here and that's all there is to it. Um, so let's see what we got. King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is very 
Oh, solid. This guy has the Midas touch. Very, very stable. Waiting, waiting for the moment. So somebody is definitely waiting for the moment. This is somebody that is well off. We have somebody here that is well off. They are very um, set. Somebody's financially set. We ha and I feel like it's a masculine energy. Just I'm just being honest with you. I feel like we have a masculine here energy that is is very very wealthy that has a lot to offer that it, it could be a, it could be a female because we all have masculine in us but anyhow we do have somebody here that is is accepting an offer they are making an offer they are accepting an offer that is going to lead to a lot of happiness by the looks of things um very very stable offer solid offer long term this is a well planned out, thought out, uh, has been planned for a while. Okay, it has. So somebody is is following a plan that's been all drawn up. You know, they've thought about it for a very long time. This has been no kind of hurry. But now it has been in no hurry. Somebody has been in no hurry because they were planning. They had some things that they had to clear up before they could follow through. But now they're in, now they're ready. Now they're in a hurry to head towards the connection whereas they were not in a hurry because they were planning something. Now the plans have come to fruition. Now it's time to, you know, come together it's time to shake hands it's time to you know shake hands whatever the hell that means Ooh, the ten of swords now the ten, end of suffering this is the end of suffering after a painful separation it's over the, the, it's over so this is the end of suffering we have somebody here that has been defeated they have been defeated and I feel like now they just want something stable. They want something solid. They want something secure. Well, there they are. <laughs> Two of them. I fell out like this. I don't know what the other one is yet. But it's a six of wands reverse. Because of that flower, it won't zoom. Whatever. I don't know, I'll fight with it. Anyhow, I'm not going to fight with it. Six of Wands reversed. And the Magician taking action to bring success. Somebody has been in an unsuccessful situation. They have been. And that's why they there was a delay. Somebody was being delayed. They were being held back. They may have been disgraced. You know, they may have been worried about what everybody else was going to say. Um... We have somebody here that has been very, they've been very cocky, very, very cocky. They've been very prideful, very smug, uh, fighting uh, ex extreme pride. Somebody has been extre has been letting pride get in the way of a connection or following through. They've been, they've been fighting their desires. Somebody has been fighting their desires. They've been... Uh, choosing not to be logical they've been uh but now they're following their heart so somebody is ready to follow their heart and they're they're ready to make a a deal of some sort or they want to make a deal or they want to they may want peace i don't know where that's coming from but i do feel like we have an individual here that has done something stupid I do. With the Knight of Swords reversed, they may have done something stupid or they let fear get in the way or they were in no hurry to make any moves or they were fighting their pride or their ego or they were embarrassed or something like that. With the Six of Wands reversed, that could be like embarrassment. Um, but this losing, somebody has been, they're losing something. They may be losing ground, you know. They're definitely feeling defeated. Somebody is definitely feeling defeated. Um, they may have failed to accomplish what they wanted to accomplish and now they're they're ready for success so we do have an in individual here that is going to be taking action they are going to be doing whatever it takes to bring success we have somebody here that is willing to shed the old to bring in the new 
their character. They have built up some sort of character. Their character has changed. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they've gained some skills. Somebody has gained some, gained some skills through, uh, I don't know, fighting perhaps with that Knight of Swords reversed or doing things uh, without thinking. You know, has taught somebody something. The Magician is a very skilled individual who has gained knowledge through experience. So somebody has gained some knowledge through experience after uh, losing something. They've lost something of value. And now they, they've uh, been trying to figure out how to get it back. And they're going to get it back. They're going to do whatever it takes to get it back. And I think it's because maybe there's a connection that has ended. There could have been a partnership that has ended that now they are able to take action. So they're, they may be, you know ready they're i feel like they are we have an individual that is very cunning and very clever with that king of pentacles this is a hard worker that has a lot to offer that is uh you know going to be making some sort of offer so there is somebody that is making an offer and i feel like uh this is going to be the end of a painful situation it is going to make you very 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 happy whatever this offer is i don't know what offer it is but you're going to be getting some sort of offer or you're going to be making the offer either way i feel like you're in charge some you know you are in charge because we have in charge in charge somebody i feel like it's you or somebody is taking charge they are taking charge and they are going to do whatever it takes for a partnership that may have, I don't know if this partnership has already ended, you know, they may want to revive it. I'm not sure if that's the case. That could be the case. Maybe something has been lost and now they're, you know, they've gained some sort of knowledge and I don't know, maybe it's divine intervention or something. Um... Because of the magician card, we ha we have a very. This is a golden opportunity. Somebody is taking a golden opportunity to communicate how they feel and what they desire. Okay, a golden opportunity to communicate how they feel and what they desire. All right, so that's what's going to happen here. Um, this is a this is an awakening of some sort. I think we have an individual that has been through some sort of spiritual awakening, and you know I feel like uh, somebody may be may be uh, contacting you, or you may be contacting them and uh, reaching out. Somebody is going to be reaching out, and I think that they're going to get exactly what they want. So we have a very determined, I mean, the magician and the emperor is determination and the king of uh, pentacles. We have a very determined individual that uh, wants success. One more card. One more card. Something is about to come to fruition. You asked. This is what you want. A magician is as above, so below. It's like you asked for this. This is what you asked for. Taking action. A very, very powerful, strong individual here who is definitely taking control. Oh, oh. One more card, of course. Now the tower reverse is avoided. Somebody has avoided. They've avoided confrontation. They've tried to avoid it, but they've reached a point where they can't avoid it anymore. They must take action. Something has happened. There is something that has happened. This is force that is forcing somebody to take action right now to rebuild or to build a new foundation. Okay. So there's some sort of event that it has happened that is forcing this life change, that is forcing this, uh, well, that one is a new beginning, right? A new partnership. So be prepared to be, whether it's you offering it or, or somebody else offering it, there's going to be a coming together, working together, uh, uniting with somebody that you are very much in alignment with, 
Um, you need to open up. You need to open up. You need to be willing to uh, rebuild, be willing to start over. I feel like uh, that's what this is. I feel like this is starting over. I feel like it's starting over from scratch after avoiding it. It's like somebody has been avoiding. They've been avoiding disruption in their life, so they've been stagnant. But now there's something that has happened that is forcing them to take action. So be prepared for somebody to reach out to you this month. Good luck.